I am... Um, I think that this is a weird game, and I don't know if I would necessarily say, like, a good game, but it's really fun to play, <laughs> which has been kind of the theme of all the games this month anyway, so we'll see. Uh, I'm playing this on my actual GameCube with an actual GameCube disc. This is the best 3D platformer on the GameCube. It's a really good 3D platformer. Hey, that's right. Every single time you select something, the confirmation sound is Shrek burping. Get out of here! Get out! Get out of here! It's a very slippery platformer, even if it is pretty good. This is actually fun to play again. I haven't played this in years. Can you, can you believe they're bullying this poor guy? Look at him over there. See, this is the problem with cops. Shrek says a gap. Does this seem fair to you? Does this seem like a fair fight? Hey, hey, hey! I got you, sir. Oh, great, now they're beating up children. Jesus. Do I want to try out a new move? Yes? Come on. What kind of question is that? Let's get started. Jump down into the pit. Great. You're ready for anything now. Go back to the house and jump into the mirror. That's it? You could have just told me hold down Y to super punch. All right, cool. Cool game. I died. I guess I was just too stinky. That's the only thing I can figure. Get away from my machine. I swear to God. Touch my machine. I dare you. Have I ever seen Shrek the Musical? Which is the answer that gets me beat up the least? The platforming in this game is, like, surprisingly fun. Like, just kicking off of walls and seeing where you can get to. Really satisfying. Hey, get on your platform. Okay, kind of rude. Kind of a rude energy going on right here. These are my eggs. These are my eggs. I'm stepping on them. These are my eggs. It's interesting. They made some of these walls not... Um, wall jumpable so that you couldn't just like skip a whole bunch of content it seems like and that only makes me want to do it more like when the game's like no nah, we actually made this so you couldn't do that it's like all right well you're wrong and I will make you pay for it all right maybe you're right maybe I won't be able to wall jump there that doesn't make me less of an ogre no truck watch out <laughs> the draft went away right when I ran at it. Can you help me get rid of these darn boneheaded idiots and their bewitching friends? They got good moves. Look at those moves. The church door closed. Punch the witches. Inside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone in chat. Witches appeared. Wouldn't you love to be eating this beetle? I know you would. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. I found the path back to the cemetery. Don't worry. You're very hard to carry upstairs for some reason. Put me down. I've retrieved him, milady. I got so many gestures. I got gestures coming out of my ear. I got big gestures. I got small gestures. I got short gestures. I got tall gestures. Any type of gesture you can want. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that was for finding all the fairies. I was like, did, did I just like somehow do it? Seems like you've taken care of things. Why don't you go and get rid of that blue dragon in my summer castle? I'll reward you with lots of mud when you're done. Ooh, mud. And if you meet Merlin... I love mud! Start. Remember in the speedrun, you really get a rhythm down for that fish. So the fish wriggles out of your hand pretty quickly. So you have to, you have to like, repress the grab button, basically at the same time that it's falling out of your hand, so you re-grab it instantly. Like, every time you hear that squishing sound, that's the fish falling out of my hands, and I'm having to repress the grab button with the right timing. <laughs> hate to see it. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. I'm not trying to get fancy about anything. Whoa. 
Why is this one not chasing anyone like they usually do? I need to set him on fire so that he gets the right idea or something? Okay, so he'll only chase- they'll only chase certain types of guards or something? I found the right kind for the baby dragon? Looks like it's set up in a way to try to prevent me from, from doing this, but... I'm kind of stubborn. Ha! Ah, you just- you just do that! Pull tech! Look at that move! That is such a sick move! I'm trying! Okay, the real problem here is that the button for expelling gas is the same button as fire, it's just... You have to only hold down the button slightly, because it's it's the R trigger on the GameCube controller, so it's like half press to fart and full press to do fire. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. But after a while, the ice Is this Benedict Cumberbatch? I can't believe they got Benedict Cumberbatch for this one. Speak. Where'd he go? Where do I get more health? Or do I just not? God. It's annoying because, you know, they light it on fire. I'm just trying to heal my guy. <laughs> I take so much damage! Whoever is shooting those magical arrows is doing a really fucking good job. Like, their aim is impeccable. Are the lava dudes just invincible? Uh, no, but they hit like a truck, so you really kind of want to avoid them. Where are those shots coming from? Is there anything up here? Do I just have to keep dragging the same guy back over and over? I do not remember how this fight plays out. Did something break? I'm, I'm genuinely concerned that something is broken. I feel like he's up in the ceiling, but I don't know how to climb up. I'm so absolutely confused right now. I've, I've speedrun this, but I do not remember him just disappearing like this. I don't know if it's a bug or if I'm forgetting a step to this fight. The fire shots that are just flying throughout this castle, the fact that they can just definitely hit you anytime they want to is garbage. Once I knock them out, they... Are you... I'm... He got knocked out of my hand somehow and then ran off. It's like, why do- why is their aim so good? I don't understand that. That's- that's the part that drives me nuts. Okay, so if you go into the middle and like, punch that Merlin in the middle, it just bugs out the whole fight. Didn't see that coming. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Yeah, yeah, I got- yeah, good job, track. You did it. The ruins turned out to be quite a tourist attraction. It eventually attracted many people from far away to come and watch. But Shrek and Princess Fiona stayed in their swamp, happily ever after, with their pet. What? I trapped a dude in a bottle? What is this audio? Don't be so mean. Well, that's Shrek Extra Large. I actually think it's kind of a fun platformer. Um, it is absolutely unhinged. It makes no sense. Um, none, of, none of the game follows any logic. The post game's got a little stuff. Is there actually more stuff in, in a post game? I don't even remember there being a post game. Is there like an extra level or something that I've never played? There's a cheats menu. Invulnerable costs three dollars. Infinite gas costs three dollars. Money for Merlin. Yeah. I, I contributed to his GoFundMe. Are, are, are we having fun right now? Is this fun for us? <laughs> 